Moving on is Alcorn State head football coach Jay Hobson. Alcorn State defeated Grambling State in the Circle City Classic by a final score of 48-0. to zero. This week they will travel to Houston and play Texas Southern for a 2 p.m. kickoff. Good morning, Coach Hobson. Are you with us? Yes, good morning. Good morning, Coach. If you could talk about uh, the Circle City Classic and uh, preview Texas Southern. Uh, just a uh, – it was a – Really, a good atmosphere. Very impressed. I mean, it was, you know, of course, Lucas Oil Stadium is a just a beautiful stadium, and I think the kids enjoyed it. Um, and just, you know, the Circle City Classic Committee did a great job with it. I thought the game. I thought on. All, I was pretty pleased on all three phases. I thought we played well, offensively and defensively, and, and uh, special teams, and and uh, you know, it was a, um, you know, I thought Arnold ran the ball hard and. Did some good things in the run game. Uh, we were able to create some turnovers, so that was good defensively. But uh, you know, this week we play uh, Texas Southern, a team that just came off a big win against Pine Bluff uh, for their homecoming. And, um, you know, it's a game that uh, is another swag game. So well coached, good football team, and, you know, we got to be ready to play. All right, the floor is now open for Alcorn State head football coach Jay Hobson. Coach, what were some of the responses of the of the players playing in a in a, in a field like uh, like Lucas Oil? You know, I think uh, I think they really enjoyed it. You know, just going in, you could tell like Friday um, when they went through the walkthrough. You know, everybody, you know, was I think the kids were all taking pictures of the stadium. It's a beautiful facility, you know, and and uh, I think they were really. Uh, you know, they they really really enjoyed their experience, and I, I thought the uh, Circle City uh, committee did an excellent job. Coach, good morning, Ty Miller from Sierra Broadcast in Pittsburgh. Can you tell us your main concerns about Texas Southern first on offense and then on defense? Well, you know, uh, Homer Causey. Uh, is a young man that makes a lot of plays for him, and uh, you know, just um, you know, he, he's a he's a talented athlete that uh, can throw it and run it. Uh, of course, you know, um, the loving kid is back, the running back, and he's made some big plays for him. Uh, defensively, you know, they're a team that that runs around, play they fly around, play hard, and so I mean, it's, it's a game, you know, it's a it's a game we got to be ready to play, you know, and all SWAT games, you know, we all. I think all the coaches, we all kind of sing the same song, but it's another swag game. It's going to be a hard-fought game. we got to be ready to play. Coach, when your team gets inside the red zone, you have a lot of success with that. Can you talk about why you've had some success inside the 20? Well, you know, I mean, you, you know, that's something that I think we all kind of preach and, and try to emphasize to our team and practice. But, you know, some years I think some teams are a little bit better. Uh, down in there, you know what I'm saying? I, th I think, um, you know, I think we've played physical, which is good. But, uh, you know, it's something that, knock on wood, we want to continue to do. You know, we're going to do what we do, and, and hopefully we can continue to have success doing it. Coach, also, a lot of people give credit to Arnold Walker, but can you talk about your sophomore quarterback and tell us what makes uh, Gibbs uh, uh, special for your team? John is a young man that, and I've said this kind of over and over, but he's a kid that just, you know, just keeps maturing and getting better and better. You know, as quarterback, you know, we asked a lot of him last year to come in as a true freshman. And of course, you know, he's from Houston. We asked him to come in and start for us last year. And then, uh, you know, he's he's a young man now that really uh, is seeing the field. You know, he's he understanding the game and, and uh, you know, studying the game. So, I mean, I'm just seeing him. I really like what I'm seeing. He, he's just really maturing. Coach, week in and week out, you really don't hear uh, much of, of, of emphasis on, on special teams, but McCraney picks up Specialist of the Week, your first uh, player of the week uh, uh, this season. Uh, how important was he in terms of uh, assisting your defense with field position, knowing that Grambling State, I think, crossed the 50-yard line, I think, maybe two or three times during the game? Just big. You know, Hayden does a great job for us, and, uh, you know, that's, that's you know, we what we brought him in here to do, and he's done a great job. He's got a strong leg and, and got a lot of savvy. You know, he's a real smart kid, and, and uh, you know, just uh, we've been 
just you know we've been tickled to death with him, and he continues uh, to perform and kick at a high level. During the preseason, you spoke uh, much about improving on last season. What are some of the things now you're satisfied that you say, okay, this area has improved? Uh, you kind of mark it off your list, and then and then moving on to 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 to, uh, to another area that that needs improvement. Well, you know, we still got a, basically half a season to go, but but midway through the season, I think I think we're better in all phases. You know, I really do. I think I think a lot of that can be contributed to a lot of things. You know, last you know, these kids have been in the system now for a year. You know, last year we asked a lot of them. You know, I mean, coming in in August the fifth or sixth, whenever we reported and learn everything and get ready for a season. You know, we were almost semi asking the impossible of them. You know, and I think that that the they now have a, a comfort uh, level with what we do offensively, defensively, you know, and so now I think it's just it's a lot easier, you know, just because you, you had a spring to teach them stuff, and so now uh, and you're able to do more, you know, because you just it's tough in three weeks to, you know, get a team ready to play football, and so um, I think that's something that has probably helped, just being honest, that's probably helped more than anything, just having a year and kids just kind of understanding what we do. Coach, Texas Southern has had some problems passing the football, and your pass defense uh, has, is one of the stronger points of your defense. So will that give you cause to concentrate more on the run this week? No, they're they're a balanced football team. I think we have to, you know, we've got to be ready for both, you know, and, and uh, they threw the ball. Um, you know, the quarterback makes plays now with his, not only with his feet, but with his arm. And, and you know, likewise, they, he, they had some, uh, some good pass completions and threw the ball well last year. So, I mean, you know, we kind of look at, we, we've got to stop, you know, both phases of the game, you know, and that, that's just what it is on defense. So, uh, you know, we're, you know, again, we have the utmost respect for them offensively. I think they do a great job, have a good plan, and I think their, their young quarterback's doing a good job. Coach, one well, five to zero in the last two weeks. Does that mean that you enter this game with your defense with a lot of confidence, or is it kind of like a trap? Not to be- <laughs> no, uh, we, it's entering the next. You know, like we talk about, it's the next fight. We're not that, what we did last week does no bearing and doesn't even matter. You know, we got we got to be ready to play. You know, it's nice to get it, but that's the thing about football. You can't you can't enjoy it. I mean, until after the season, we got to we got to. Uh, tough opponent we got to be ready to play you know so i mean we try to emphasize that to him you know last week was last week we can't worry about what happened there we got to move on and, and get ready for a good texas southern football team despite their record uh what are some of your areas of concern uh, for texas southern you know, I, I just I, I think you know, like I said, I think that they they they, they made uh, the quarterback made some has made some big plays for them. I think I think in the running game they they made some big plays. I think against Pine Bluff, you know, they hit quite a few big plays for touchdowns, and that's something I think you always have to limit defensively. Uh, you know, and um, they created I believe some some quite a few turnovers too. So offensively, we got to do a good job protecting the football. And, um, you know, it just comes down to playing good, solid, fundamental football. And, um, and that's kind of the way we, we approach it, and we're going to have to approach it. 